One of those states make sure you okay so i wanted to do this video about being all things to all people this is a spirituality video of sorts so the other day i was just thinking and i wanted to do this video because i believe in being all things to all people and this is something that you hear about in the bible or you read in the bible to be all things to all people while not necessarily being given to all things so that means to me that I should be able to relate and connect to all people on the level that they are on while not losing myself in whatever it is that I have to identify with to connect with those people. So that means that for me, it means that I have to learn more about what other people are connected to, what other people are into, how other people communicate, how other people receive information. It means that I need to know a little bit about everything so that no matter where I'm at or who I'm speaking to I can always pick up in and on the conversation and have really relative things to say man my dang gone necklace with my sapphire broke last night when I was in the shower and it made me feel like man does that mean something like why did it break not the actual stone but the necklace that the stone is hanging on I don't know why I just randomly thought about that but so for me learning about lesbianism and and sexuality, being gay or being transgender, me learning about different sexual orientations and or dynamics of relationship, that does not mean I want to live all of those things or experience all of those things. But in order for me to be able to relate to all of those people, I have to be knowledgeable of all of those things. For me, I take it a little step further, just being knowledgeable. For myself, I like to be able to put myself in their shoes, meaning that I am going to do my best to relate to and identify with whoever it is that I am speaking to. So instead of just learning the information and saying, oh, well, I know this stuff, I literally like to say, if it was me in your shoes, if I was in that situation, this is what my mindset would be. This is what my insight would be. This is how I would structure my life and my living would be. And the reason why I do that is because of trying to be very compassionate, having empathy for those who are going through or getting through or in the midst of whatever they're into. Being able to know about a topic is not the same as having compassion for people going through something. Being knowledgeable about a topic is not the same as understanding the people that go through whatever the knowledge base is that you know. It's also not just knowing, but being able to relate so that when you're talking to people, you're talking from a place of relativity. That may or may not be a word. It may or may not use it the way it's meant to or in intended to be used by those who created the word. But I enjoy, I find peace. I find enthrallment almost even with learning about people, but then learning to relate to people. So that means if I put myself in a person that is gay shoes and I try to think back to, you know, when a person first realizes that they like or are into something, then it makes me put myself in that person's shoes and I will feel bad in the times where they may feel bad. I will feel things that they felt in that situation. Now, I I don't feel it literally because I'm not going through it but if a person for me in particular personally if I talk to a person and they are able to give me a backstory interpret their feelings in a way in which I can't understand what it is that they went through then sometimes I can feel 
that hurt i can feel that pain i can feel that enjoyment or excitement too so when i go and i watch porn i'm not watching porn every single time for the sheer pleasure of arousal a lot of times when i well especially when i started watching porn on this end because i was watching porn and i was feeling bad for watching porn but now the reason why i watch porn or even feed into that narrative is because i want to learn about one people in the porn industry because guess what it's people that will curse them to hell just because they got a job that somebody else don't agree with because they're using their sex to make money and i don't think that they are going to hell just because they use their natural hormone and the natural essence of who they are to profit what's the difference between that and somebody that sing and profit it is a difference but it's not a difference relatively speak so instead of judging let me put myself in a situation where i can understand where they're coming from where i can understand i can put myself in their shoes i can give myself to what mindset it takes to do that because when i watch porn and i see um two gay men enjoying each other i am not thinking about well look at what they doing no i appreciate their enjoyment for their sexual lives just like think and when i watch it i'm thinking man when i have sex that's how i be feeling that's how i be looking that's how i enjoy it and it allows me to understand that no these people really enjoy this it's like me being in the melanated poly groups and the black uh, women lesbian poly group and all of these other groups it's not for me to necessarily well one i do let myself be known i do let it be known by myself that i am not necessarily gay however i do like to know about gay shit like i know gay people so it's easier for me to help somebody that's gay if i know what gay people go through if i can relate to the topics that they into so personally when i get on these boards when i go in on regular social media and people are like don't nobody want to do this these people are stupid they getting played poly is played these people being stupid but then i go in a poly group and i see women that saying man i wish i pray i hope for this type of situation it makes me feel like well shit people that's doing poly ain't stupid if it's actually women that's hoping to pray for to be either in a relationship or to find somebody else to be a part of their relationship because if it's people that want to find somebody to be a part of their relationship there are also people that's looking to be in that type of relationship there is something for everybody and that is what i've learned in my journey of understanding people understanding human behavior understanding social norms and the things that are not norms or things that are frowned upon because it doesn't fit into the narrative that they would like for it to be so i look at all types of things i don't just look at straight porn i don't just look at gay porn i talk about watching lesbian porn more but all porn gets me aroused because it's the sexual arousal it's me being able to identify with their beliefs it's me being able to identify with their desires me being able to acknowledge and say you know what i can feel that i may not like it i may not want it but i understand where you are with it because that is your choice that is your preference that's what you want that's what your heart desires and a lot of people will frown upon other people because they haven't taken the initiative to understand what people want and why people want it so it's easier to judge if you ain't doing shit to understand somebody else you gonna have to judge because you ain't trying to get no understanding so when i think of being all things to all people i think about jesus at the well i think about the way he ran game on the bitch at the well when i think about being all things to all people i think about when jesus saved the bitch from being stoned for being a whore she was sleeping with somebody's husband my mindset i guess works totally different than most because at the end of the day i would rather be able to understand and relate to somebody than anything else i don't want to judge people and make myself feel like i'm better because they do this and i don't do that and they do this and i don't do that and i do this 
but they don't like that doesn't make me better that doesn't make me right that doesn't make me more honorable it doesn't make me more noble it doesn't make me more christian i'm not a christian i don't identify myself as a christian but those things do not make me more of that just because so if you begin to understand people understand their history understand their past understand what they want for their future and really try to relate to people then it remove a lot of judgment that we see so for me i like to be all things to all people i try to relate to as many people as possible not just sexually people that are misfortune homeless when people are going through a bad time or dealing with death grief or loss a lot of things that i do is because i desire to be all things to all people whatever you need whatever you're praying to god for i want to help you to succeed i want you to get whatever it is that's going to be best for you i don't have a problem looking crazy to help the community i don't have a problem with people thinking well what if she like this or what if she do that if it's going to help on a larger scale the greater picture purpose is better than anything that my little man can come up with so my goal is to help heal love and help people become whole so in order to do that then i have to move a little bit different than everybody else if everybody judging and i can't judge to be all things to all people without taking on any of it is being able to mentally relate to other people without pursuing what other people do it's like i can relate to people that's on drugs without snorting dope like you know how i can relate because i've seen what drugs do to people i've seen people on drugs and that gives me a little ability to say you know what i seen what that can do to you you, you deserve better you deserve more you can have more but it's up to that person it's more effective if i can relate to that person in some way and a lot of people it's so crazy because people get upset when you're telling the story and you're trying to say you know what i've been through that i can relate people think that you be trying to one up them and really it's just really trying to find a ground of commonality so that you can feel comfortable and knowing that you are not alone in whatever it is that you're going through because if i've been through it and got through it then you can get through it too if i've seen somebody else get through it then i can help you navigate this is what makes me a human behavior specialist and dealing with spiritual human behavior because i try to relate to people on their level and their human experience and transcend that into helping them get beyond whatever experience that they've had thus far and creating new fuller experiences creating the life that they want but if you don't put yourself in somebody else's shoes then you will never be able to really effectively help them because you don't even know where they're coming from. You don't know where they're going. To. You don't know enough about their situation to relate to them, to understand what, well, man, if the situation is like that, then I might be able to understand how you got into this position. Now, how can I help you get out of it? From the situation being like that, what can we do now? That is the goal. That is the plan. That is the way that I mentally understand. So when I say being all things to all people, it literally means bringing bridging the gap closing the door to me being able to judge someone for being different because i can relate to where you're at not because i've always been through it but because i have subjected my mindset to it so that i can understand and help you overcome it help you get through it help you navigate to where you need to be in your life daily that is the goal that is the reason why i put myself in awkward positions or talk about shit that i know people will judge me for man you ain't cold man you got some good old strong blood <laughs> pretty hair too it's cold as fuck outside. She ain't got no sleeves on. She got a goddamn summer ass dress. That bitch cold. She lying. <laughs> anyways in order to be able to have a conversation with anybody you got to be able to find the commonality and interest and relate to a person and if you can do that then you can speak to anybody about anything at any time and be confident in the conversation this is how i'm able to talk to anybody in any topic it's not just because i learn a lot but i learn a lot because i want to be able to relate a lot i want to be all things to all people i want to bridge the gap so i learn a lot so that i can be able to talk and relate and understand what people are talking about no matter what the conversation is that's what's important to me and i hope that it transcends through all these videos and stuff but if not i hope you understand anyways bye gotta go love you 
Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided. If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note, all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The life enhancement coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research, and a balanced lifestyle. Please join us daily for your inspiration and motivation. We have the entire world to offer you at your fingertips. Your life enhancement coaching specialist. Thank you for choosing us to assist you in accomplishing your personal and professional goals. And have a beautiful day. In love, we trust. This is brought to you by Good Head Group, Love Gang, and Speaking Freedom. We thank God for you, and we love you. Hi, I'm Casey, Dr. Casey to be exact, owner of Speaking Freedom LLC, Love Gang, and Good Head Group LLC. I am also a certified life coach and host of Speaking Freedom Radio and TV. Although I have recently became an ordained minister, please be aware that I am still me, raw and uncut the way God made me and allowed life to shape me. I pray and expect God to use me for people who can receive the way I communicate as well as my delivery. I am not for those who are already saved, religious, or super deep. I am for the leaders, hustlers, and street influencers around the world, including pimps, killers, drug dealers, and working girls. I am sharing my experiences and perspective to help someone be inspired to be better. And for those who can identify with the various aspects of my mindset. My mindset alone does not determine the status of any active connections or current relationships that have not already been specifically addressed. Additionally, these recordings should not be taken personally if I have not already spoken to you about the topic or expressed that I have an issue. These recordings are a part of my life's work to document my experience, perspective, and to see how life has shaped me. My plan in using my stories publicly and socially is to encourage growth in those who can identify with the experiences and find inspiration in my life to heal and overcome the path that they've been set on, no matter what they face as according to the purpose of their soul until healing takes place. Despite the experiences that I may have had with any person, sometimes known and unknown, I hold no grudges, no no hate, no bitterness, or any other ill feelings against anyone. I pray that your life is whole and very fruitful. I forgive you as I hope that you forgive me if I have wronged you or anyone that you know or anyone who listens to me. I pray that you have peace and extend the same grace to others. I have love for everyone, especially on a human level, despite flaws or experiences. But that doesn't mean that I will associate or be close to every human that I know or meet. I've experienced a very eventful life and truly believe that my mindset and story based on experiences could help those who identify with how I think and are looking for inspiration to grow further, go beyond hurt and be great. I pray that these recordings bless you and your soul in every way and whatever way God has intended. Sending love and light to all. Thanks for listening. Achieve your dreams.